Scorpio. What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Scorpio for the month of June 2019? Are you all in this space of reflecting? Are you all in this space of comparison, especially when it comes to childhood ties? You comparing your childhood with your kids right now? Renewing shit? Getting it together? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with it, baby. Mocha loves that. Hey, boo. Hey, if this is your first time you're on my channel, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards going to say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing doesn't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reading here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. To uh, the new subscribers, y'all, welcome to the family. We'll live this functional, okay? We don't fight and fuss, though. We do that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow, we love, we share, we evolve, we enlighten. We one big happy family, all right? You guys, to the returning subscribers, what's up, Martians? What's up, fellow Martian gang? Let's just go sit up on Mars and just make sure somebody bring the papers. Hmm, what y'all think about that? <laughs> you guys, May was quite the damn doozy. And if don't nobody feel me, I'm... Definitely seeing Scorpio feels me. You guys are focused on that bag, all right? And there's nothing wrong with it. I feel that the energy is mostly around legacies and just value, structure, and order. And um, you guys, quite the doozy, all right? Girl, I mean, girls and guys, thank you for the likes, the shares, and the subscribes. I truly appreciate that. Um, you guys, whew, as we roll into this month of June, it's something about the temper, Scorpio. You guys. Watch your temper, okay? I don't know if these retrogrades are going to affect you in some type of negative way when it comes to the temper, but it does a strong energy of me needing to put it out there as a disclosure to watch your temper. You guys, this resonated. I mean, this resonate. This reading is not going to resonate with everybody. Please take what does and leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, don't try to make it fit. You're going to fall, okay? You guys, if you need a person, that information can be found within the description. Without further ado, let's jump into it. This is for the month of June for my summer rising Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Scorpio, okay? You guys, um, intuitively, what I got for you all for the month of June is deception. Reconsider, dreams, interpreter, promotion, spiritual abundance, past life love, walking away, history, investments, dry motives, elevation, career change, compromise, vulnerable, ego death, revelation, seclusion, they want to win, twin flame, heightened intuition, gambling, happiness. Sudden wealth, exposure of plans, speaking truths, con artists, renewal, caught red-handed, okay? So you guys, that sounds like the tea. <laughs> if these intuitive messages did resonate with you all, this is your message. Let's talk about it, all right? Overall energy around the reading is the Ten of Cups. So you guys are focused on fulfillment, focused on abundance, focused on your happiness, focused on what it is that can assist you in your process of the growth, okay? For some of you all, you may be having issues with the children around this time. They may be a bit rebellious, maybe a bit, um, maybe talking back, especially if you have, um, a, like, um, I'm feeling for some of you all, this is involving a teenager, anywhere between, or preteen, anywhere between 11 and 14. For some of you all, this could also be between 5 and 9. Some of you guys could be dealing with rebellious children during this time, and I feel like it's having to do with the energy. I don't know where the Mars alignment is, but for some of you all, um, you may have an issue with your children, and you may find it, or for some of y'all may also have some type of conversation or have some type of revelation that comes through your children, and you're needing to turn to your children for that peace as well as for that understanding for some of you all, as well as clarity on where the foundation of your hurt or where the foundation of your trust issue and your issues around opening up or being vulnerable for some of you all lie. And for some of you all, it's having to do with the way that you were raised. Maybe there was some type of lacking or in structure that could have been a missing mother or a missing father, but for some of you all, or maybe you feel as if you missed the nurturing part of life, like maybe your mom and dad was focused on work and focused on uh, providing that stability, so they didn't really have the time like that, you know, to be out, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you really kind of had to learn love, um, possibly, or, or, or 
some of y'all had to go through some type of like validation. So there's some type of healing that's uh, happening with Scorpio. You're no longer needing people to validate how great you are. You're no longer needing people to validate how you love or for that matter, dictate how you should be or how you should love or how you should bring things to balance the situation out. For some of you all, this is about the balance that is within you, balancing that masculine and the feminine energies. And for some of you all, this is going to move you towards your faded path. Some of you all are writers. Some of you all are artists. Some of you all are poets. Some of you all are empaths. Some of you all are healers. Some of you all are shamans. Some of you all are sages, star seeds, and you're meant to be great. Some of y'all are tarot readers. Some of you guys, there's a need for you guys to move towards your destiny. So if you're having to cut people off during this time, there is some type of balance that is assisting that is, that is here to assist you. It's like divine intervention. So for some of you all, if you uh, were kind of juggling the decision to burn the bridge, to cut the ass with the sword or not, okay, the universe kind of comes in during this time and say, you know what, Scorpio, this no longer works for your motherfucking life. We're going to move this motherfucker on. We're going to get him an opportunity out of town. We're going to throw a catalyst situation in, some type of third party. And maybe this could have been an issue in the past that is keeping the toxicity in the relationship or in the situation or any type of tie because people don't have the, they lack self-control. They lack the ability to keep it real with their motherfuckers. And so, therefore, you can't expect people to keep it real with you. So, some of you all are coming to some type of realization during this time, which is going to ultimately bring some type of positivity and harmony within the fulfillment aspect of your life. Because for some of you all, it's a blessing in disguise. Like, this person was a catalyst to get you to open up again, to get you to trust the universe and really trust in what it is that you manifest. Some of y'all manifested some bullshit. And sometimes we got to take an L. Everybody has to take one for the team. Okay? In this life, everybody, then you can't tell me. We can finna have a, a, a real a, a real motherfucker conversation. You can't tell me you ain't never had to take one for the team. In fucking possible. But for some of you all, there is some type of destiny that you are moving towards. Some of you all have been questioning, am I on the right path? Am I on the right track? You know, I've had to go into some type of uh, seclusion. Or I've had to go into some type of solitude away from my kids, away from my family. But some of you all, especially if you're moving towards leaving that legacy and um, leaving that legacy and actually moving towards your passions to create that stability. And depending on your passion, some of y'all, really, the spirit just really needs you to jump off the damn cliff. Because what's for you is for you, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all, there's a child on the other side, okay? This this child is a boy, right? Um, but there's a child in the spiritual realm trying to manifest itself here in the 3D. This child is going to be extremely um, gifted, okay? This child is an architect. This child may also um, have some type of visions or have some type of premonitions that will um, assist the world as far as growth and healing this child has wisdom to bring to this race to this realm okay some of you guys may be um you really needed to watch your thoughts during this time some of you all may have been in this space of trying to balance your thoughts i feel like for some of you all there is some of y'all also may be dreaming and seeing some type of geometric uh, geometrical or uh, like some type of sacred sacred geometry within your dreams there's a need for you to connect or if you can remember any bits and pieces of it for you to actually write them down. Some of y'all may also be in this space of really connecting or really uh, reflecting over some uh, one of your ancestors. I'm getting an older woman. This could be a mother figure, a grandmother figure, but some of you guys may be connected to this person during this time. This person may even be coming in your dream space. They're coming to assist you with bringing you some type of confirmation of order or some type of confirmation of structure. They're, 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 they're assisting you with giving you some type of way word forward on your path. Some of you all are mediums and you've been running from your ability to help others with it. I mean, it's, I feel like this is really not about others, but you're destined to assist others in, in, your, in some form of mediumship. Some of you all who are dealing with legalities, okay, for some of you who have been waiting on justice to occur in a situation, justice will be in your favor, baby. I definitely feel that you have to find that balance within yourself to not perceive things negatively before they occur. Self-sabotage, I'm hearing. For some of you all, things are being aligned for you to be with a particular, uh, like some of y'all already have like some type of divine marriage or like heavenly marriage 
some of y'all are already married to someone within the five in the five D, and I feel like you could be thinking about this person a lot because they're thinking about you a lot. For some of y'all, you could have known this person since you were a child. Here, some of you all are thinking about a relationship going back and forth. Some of y'all have to make a decision of two decisions. Some of y'all have to make a decision to break to to. to what would hurt someone else in order to make you happy? That's the gambling happiness. And for some of you all, there's a need for you. Some of y'all could be attached or could be legally married, but could have met the love of your life. Maybe this person is kind of pressing the issue of you being divorced. For some of y'all, it's due to this person having some type of ties to assets. Like this person could have some type of business or some type of... This person is afraid that somebody going to come in and snatch their coins that the motherfucker didn't work for. I don't blame them. I'm sorry. Would you flip the put the shoe another foot? Come on, be real with yourself, motherfucker. And I love you, but just be real with yourself. Assets. I mean, what what can help and what can hold you back? Some of you all have been in contemplation about balancing the situation and moving back towards the family situation to um, be that balance uh, for your children. And for some of you all, some of y'all have a very prominent destiny to bring balance. Some of y'all are light workers. And some of you all, some of y'all could also be going through a, um, some type of, some form of an awakening. Some of you all could also um, be using some type of meditations to like open your third eye. Be careful with that. And ensure that your crown chakra is also clear and open and receptive. And when you're trying to open your third eye, do not be afraid of uh, of anything, to be honest. Be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. Especially for those of you who have the gift of mediumship, okay? Some of you all may be dealing with some type of, again, things are being aligned for you behind the scenes if you're dealing with some type of legal case. You may be hearing positive news about that, and I feel like you've been in your head about it. This could involve your children, okay? All right, so let's get into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful scorpions in love for the month of June? Yeah, I do feel that everything is going to work out for you. Things are being balanced. For some of you all, you really need to center yourself. Some of y'all are really coming, becoming one with the light and dark, at, dark with the shadow as well as the light aspects of yourself. And it's, it's it, and to be honest with you, it's about you being in love and embracing both. Because being being at one with your shadow self, are you able to observe and see smooth through motherfuckers? Because I didn't been you, so I I I didn't been you. I can acknowledge that shit because I'm no longer you. I've grown and I've descended from you, but I can see you, motherfucker. Okay. And for some of you all, some of y'all are also dream interpreters. I'm hearing. Some of y'all also may be dreaming about snakes. This has to do with your surroundings. Watch who you tell your business to. Watch who you share your ideas with as well during this time, Scorpio. Some of y'all may be having someone coming uh, coming, coming around you. Just to, and I feel like they come in a very snakeish way. Kind of, you know, ain't shit faker than the person than the person trying to have a conversation just to ask you for some shit. You know, think about it. Think about somebody walking up to you at the bus stop or anywhere, okay? And asking you, they trying to drop, just start a dry ass conversation just to ask you for a cigarette. They give a fuck about how your day was, what you got going on, where you work at. They just want what they want. Some of y'all are needing to see through this type of energy during this time. Because some of y'all got people coming back and yeah, they asking you how you doing, but they could give a fuck. They only want to be in your business to talk about you later. And I'm seeing that very strongly, so watch. Trust what you feel and, and, and trust your discernment because your intuition is very it is at a very high peak during this time. Alright. Some of y'all also may be finding feathers that your ancestors are leaving to let you know that you are on the right path. Some of you guys also may be focused on um, nature during this time. Taking care of the planet, taking care of the universe. Some of y'all also may be uh, volunteering around some type of some of you guys also, there's a need. Some of y'all may meet somebody at some type of gardening fair. Like, you know, those public events where everybody kind of gets together and they kind of have one come and go. But it's kind of like a it's kind of like a chill out place. It's a vibe place for people who like to garden for environmentalists or some, something like that. I think that's the word. All right. 
So what what messages do you have for beautiful Scorpions in love for the month of June? What can they expect in love? Some of y'all are in love. Some of you guys are coming to terms with your feelings around uh, about someone. Some of you guys could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And some of you guys are internally conflicted about how you feel. Some of you guys, this could be, some of y'all could have, some of y'all could have been a player. Look here, some of y'all the player and fell in love. And some of you all want to express your love to someone, but there's afraid, of, you, you're afraid that either you or this other person is afraid that the other person is going to reject them. Some of y'all could also be dealing with, some of y'all are internally conflicted about an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Some of y'all could also be not communicating with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I feel like there could have been some really nasty words that has been said. I feel like there is love there, but however, there is also this sense of like stiffness. It's cold, okay? Yeah. Some of you guys are in your head or, or kind of, some of y'all are really wanting to make a decision. On reconciling with, I needed to make a decision about reconciling with the Virgo. I feel like you love this person. However, you have to turn away from this person because this person could be a bit immature. For some of you all, it could be because you have a child with this person, or there could be some type of internal conflict about a child. But I do see that someone's willing to put in the work. Some of you all need to make a decision if you're going to be secluded, if you're going to reconcile with this damn Virgo. Some of you guys are also wanting to take a leap of faith and move towards working out a relationship or moving forward towards some type of fulfillment or family dynamic or abundance uh, with an Aries person. Some of you guys could also be dealing with another fire sign, Leo Sagittarius, but I definitely feel like someone wants to come forward and put in the work with you, Scorpio. You or the other person. Some of you guys are internally conflicted about which way to go. I feel like there is movement for it, but for some of you all, it's which way. Some of y'all could, could be dealing with a fire sign who could be trying to work out some type of family dynamic on the side. Some of you all are, um, yeah, some of you all are focused on your money. Some of you guys are releasing yourself from a situation. Some of y'all have to walk away from something in order to accept an offer. And for some of y'all, you don't want no damn offer. You just want some more money. Where the check at? Where the bag at? Where the bag at? Somebody jamming city girls in the morning. I need to, who gonna swipe them visas? <laughs> okay, so the um, root energy is the emperor, okay? Energy at the bottom of the deck, I'm sorry. For some of you all, yeah, some of y'all could definitely be, some of y'all could be moving towards someone and not telling anybody. Some of y'all could also be reconciling with someone secretly, okay? I don't feel like this is more so a secret, you're just not publicizing it on any type of social media, okay? And some of you all are, again, needing to make a decision. Some of y'all have to choose between a fire sign and a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But some of you all, you could have two fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, two of them, okay, to choose from. For some of you all, you could have two people that you're passionate about. Some of y'all are dealing with another Scorpio as well. But I feel like you're making a decision to possibly move away from a Scorpio. Some of y'all are making a decision to move away from a Scorpio to a Cancer. And some of you all or either another Scorpio or Pisces to a Cancer or vice versa. Y'all take it, y'all. But there's definitely movements between water and water. If you're dealing with an air sign, I see that there's communication issues there. And I also see that even though you could have recently reconciled with this person, they still leave you in the same type of damn confusion that they left you in the first time. Why is why you separated from the ass in the first place. So you're not so damn you're not so damn pushed and not so damn sold on jumping out there on damn face and just reconciling with this person again because you're really not with the shit. Some of you guys really, really want to some of y'all really want to uh, free yourself from a situation in order to get back to this damn emperor, but there's some type of anxiety about it because I feel like you're questioning if there's going to be stability in the situation. There's also a feeling of someone feeling like there's lack or as if, 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 uh, as if they don't have enough. Some of y'all, some of y'all could be cutting off a cancer and deciding to be single. And it could be because this person don't really know what the hell they want to do with themselves. If they want to be with you one week, if they want to work on their money the next week, this person could be going through some type of influx in emotions. Some of y'all could also have a Capricorn towards Virgo that wants to 
Yeah, some of y'all can have a family with a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. This person really wants to put in words to come back and fix their family. I feel like finances could have been an issue in the past. This person had to feel more. This person had to feel secure financially and feel something about their confidence financially before they can actually step up to be the father figure, a positive mother figure, as well as a, as, as a better spouse. This person really focused on the material, baby. <clears throat> why is um why is the why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? Yeah. Some of you guys, you have a Virgo that wants to come in and put in the work. Or some of you guys want to come in and put in the work with the Virgo. And this is going to be after leaving the situation that could have been a bit stressful for you. A situation that forces you to be in your head. For those of you who have been waiting on some type of new job opportunity, some of y'all could be receiving some type of promotion at work during the month of June. And some of y'all have anxiety about how to move. Some of y'all could have anxiety about possibly moving away from a Leo. Why is the food card here? Why is the food card here for my score to be yours? Yeah. For some of y'all, you got the joker that fell on top of the food card. For some of you guys, you really needed to trust the process, okay, and trust that there is some type of divine intervention trying to happen um, to work when it has to do with some type of dynamic. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the sign of Aries, Capricorn, towards Virgo. And for some of y'all there, again, there's some type of anxiety about being independent, moving forward, anxiety about some type of travel. Uh, some of y'all are, some of y'all don't uh, free yourself from somebody and just get a ass to walk the papers and don't tell them. I mean, they're going to have to get the memo next week. Some of y'all cutting somebody off, no warning, you just, you just getting the sword. Why is this um, two of swords here with the chariot? Why is the two of swords here with the chariot? Yeah. Some of y'all are moving away from somebody uh, due to a third party situation. Or if there was a third party, some the one well, somebody in the damn party is leaving the party. Okay. They ain't like the VIP list. They said they should have asked who was gonna be there first. <laughs> Petty Betty. Petty Pam. Yes I am, yes I am, and I do not like green eggs and ham. Motherfucker. <laughs> Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? Yes. For some of you all, some of y'all could be going into some type of collaboration or some type of business setting with the Leo, okay? But this could also be you jumping out on faith and focusing on, you jumping out on faith with your craft, with your business endeavor, baby, and the money looks good if you just jump off the cliff like this fool says with the wild card. You can have whatever you like. If this is pertaining to business, Make the move, Scorpio, now, this month of June. Some of y'all, this is about you releasing your burden. Some of y'all are removing yourself from a fire sign, or this fire sign is doing it to you. They just no longer want to put in work in a situation that feels as if it's empty. And some of you guys, there's a renewal with a fire sign. This could have been someone who you've known for um, a long time, someone that you could have known since childhood. You could have children with this person. Why is the emperor here with the Ten of Pentacles? For some of you all, you see abundance with this person. You're just going to jump off the damn cliff and go with it. Yeah, for some of you guys, this is you traveling towards the emperor. The emperor child, child, uh, traveling towards your ass. Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Taurus. Yeah, I got. I was gonna ask about the nine of uh, the nine of swords, and it jumped right over there on the damn card. How about that? But I got the nine of pentacles. So some of you guys have definitely anxiety feel about uh, releasing yourself from a situation, being independent. Some of y'all are actually going to move away from a fire sign due to some type of deception about a third party. Yeah, and for some of you all. Okay. Oh, some of y'all want to go put in the work for someone that was keeping you resistant from moving forward towards this person or this person towards you is a feeling of lack. Someone feels that they don't have enough money. They don't have enough. So they're holding their emotions to themselves, which is very burdensome to them. And it's kind of preventing you from actually getting your wish. Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Aquarius. All right. Spirit, what messages? What's the best advice for Scorpio in love? What's your best advice for Scorpio in love? What's the best advice for Scorpio in love? Month of June. Yep. Good cause. Some of you guys have to walk away from this shit. Again, it's a part of your transformation. I don't know who just got this. I think Virgo. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Virgo. There's a death happening. Some of y'all, this could also be a literal death. My condolences, baby, okay? Some of you guys are walking away from the marriage, and some of you guys are moving away from 
some of y'all, there's a plot twist I'm here. Some of y'all could be having two people waiting on you or two people debating on you, and you can move totally away from both their ass and move towards probably the sign of Libra. Some of y'all could also be walking away from a situation, okay? And for some of you all, there's some type of transformation assist transformation coming forth in your life. Some of y'all are going to be getting some type of abundance through some type of a court case. So for those of you who are waiting on some type of um, child care or some type of uh, child support or some type of divorce settlements, I do see you getting news about that. There being an ending and just do being just as in your favor being in the up right here. Some of y'all could also, this is karmic justice, okay? And walking away from a situation that is not healthy for your growth. What is your best advice for Scorpio? Yeah. And for some of y'all, communicate with that damn fire sign. Some of y'all want to send a message. Send a message of reconciliation. Okay? But there needs to be some type of truth and clarity had. Or some of y'all want to communicate the truth um, about a third-party situation. Or you will be receiving this form, receiving this truth, possibly through dream form I'm hearing. Also, for some of y'all, this could also be word of mouth. And for some of y'all, it literally may fall in your lap even through this person's screen, the, the screen on their phone I'm seeing. And for some of y'all, this person actually, some of y'all are dealing with somebody who tells on themselves when they sleep. Who the hell is that? I'm saying. <laughs> but there is communication coming uh, regarding an offer, okay? But there needs to be some type of truth and some type of boundary set in order to move forward. And as well as the actual issues addressed uh, before you guys can fully reconcile, okay? The found, build the foundations of the friendship back, Scorpio, with whomever this is that you're trying to reconcile with. And be very open and communicative with this person. And you guys should, Spirit is one, is recommended that you move away from this feeling of not enough, not having enough, what happened in the past. And, you know, if I move forward, then what's going to happen? Because this happened in the past, because that is preventing you guys from being happy, okay? And the focus is on fulfillment, period. So whoever the hell ain't with that program and ain't watching to the tune of your damn beat, to, to the beat of your drum, tell they all beat ass to stand on the curb. We ain't got time for that. All right? I love y'all. This is what I have for you guys for the month of June. I pray that this resonates with everybody. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. You guys, let me know how this resonates. I'm Aaliyah, and I will see you guys here mid-month May. I'm at mid-month May, mid-month June. And also, um, I will be going live with the sign that gets the most views. So you guys. Like, share, tell a friend, share this shit. I love y'all. Namaste.